Master, it's almost dark. <gasps> Master, what a surprise! Greetings, Martha. You will stay with us, of course. Come in, all of you. Mary! 
Mary! Mary! Come on, Mary, hurry up! I haven't seen your brother, Lazarus. He's out of town, Master. He'll be away a couple of days. If you stay, you'll see him. The value of friendship is indeed great. Do you see? We arrived unexpectedly in this village, but have been welcomed with open arms. Friendship is valuable, patient, it never tires. If you go to a friend at midnight and say, lend me three loaves, and he answers, do not bother me, the door is shut, I'm in bed and cannot rise. I tell you, if he's reluctant to give you anything, he is still your friend. And if you insist, he will rise and give you whatever you need. <laughs> Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be open to you. My father's like that. What you say is all well and good, Master. But do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, you're anxious and troubled about many things, but only one thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion, which shall not be taken away from her. to stay, Master? Lazarus will be back soon. I'll be back to see you soon. Coming round. Where... Where am I? We picked you up on the road. More in that world than this. Uh, what is he saying? He's raving. Who are you? Where do you come from? Lazarus. Bethany. We're going that way, Caleb. <laughs> Whose wagon is this? I shall pay 40 coins for this wagon. My name's Alpheus. What do you want? I want to transport a man who is seriously ill. Can I buy your wagon? I can't sell it. I need it. Come with us, then. After, you can go your own way. Not again. I'll 
I'll see you don't do it again. Where are you? Excuse me, can you tell me where the house of Lazarus is? <gasps> what? What happened? He's ill, very ill. Lazarus, my brother. A nasty fever. He's only got a couple of days in him. Is there nothing we can do? <laughs> if only Jesus were here. He wanted so much to see him. And then perhaps he could heal him. We have to find him. Let's send someone to look for him. Get a move on, will you? I've wasted enough time as it is. Just a minute. We paid you, you know. Aaron, can I have a word with you? My brother is dying, and we would like to get in touch with a dear friend of ours. Who is this friend? Jesus of Nazareth. Huh? How long will I have to stay with you two? Oh, stop complaining, will you? Did you or did you not have to leave Bethany? Oh, it's going the other way. Have you seen Jesus of Nazareth? No. Why did you say that? Everybody is looking for him. They want to kill him. It's best to be careful. Have you ever seen him? Um, only once, from a distance. I've never seen him, but I have a feeling he's not far away. <laughs> Greetings to you. I'm looking for Jesus of Nazareth. Who are you? I have a message for him. I come from Bethany. Ah, from Martha and... Oh. I have come only to speak to him. I am listening. What do you want? My lord, your friend Lazarus is ill. This illness is not unto death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by means of it. Why are you so quiet, Aram? I don't understand, Caleb. I tell him that a dear friend of his is dying, and he does nothing. I thought he would have asked us to take him to Bethany at once. Yes, with my wagon, I suppose.
Then why hasn't he gone back to Bethany? Let us return to Bethany. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I shall go to awake him out of sleep. If he's fallen asleep, maybe it's a good sign. Lazarus is dead, but let's go to him. My brother wouldn't have died. Your brother will rise again. I know. He will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. Why did you not come quicker? Now it is too late. Where have you laid him? Come and see. See how much he weeps. See how much he loved him. If he loved himself, then he could have stopped him from dying. Take away the stone. Lord, by this time there will be an odor. He's been dead for four days. Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Uh, uh. I thank you. I do this that they may believe that you have sent me. Lazarus! Lazarus, come out! out of the tomb. Impossible. I saw it with my own eyes. Raising the dead. If we let him continue, everyone will start believing in him. Then what will happen? The Romans will come and wipe us out. You know nothing at all. It is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation should not perish. What do you propose, Caiaphas? Give the order that if anyone knows where he is, he should report it to the temple. <laughs> All Jerusalem is talking about what happened in Bethany. They're hunting us as if we were thieves. We must go away for a while until my time comes. There has been no trace of him or his followers. <laughs> they must be in hiding. Soon there will be the feast in Jerusalem. Many people will come to the temple. The man from Nazareth will not be able to resist spending the Passover here. We're going to hand ourselves over to our persecutors. It seems that's just what he wants. Master, the news of your miracle has traveled far and wide. Get up, Aram. Go ahead of me to Bethany and tell my friend Lazarus that this evening I will dine in his house. Get moving, Alpheus. Not again! <laughs> here he is! Here he is! Oh, 
Jesus. Oh, welcome back, Master. What a scent. It's so strong, they'll be able to smell it in the city. <laughs> what a waste. There was at least 300 denarii of perfume in that jar. It could have been sold and the money given to the poor. Let her alone. She did it for the day of my burial. The poor you'll always have with you, but you'll not always have me. They are all in Bethany, in the house of the one who was raised from the dead. Yes, a great many people rush there to see them together. Jesus and Lazarus. Did you hear that, Simeon? Now there's not only him, but also his resurrected friend wreaking havoc. Sooner or later, the man from Nazareth will enter the city. And then... Jesus had been a guest in the home of Mary and Martha in Bethany, a small village about two miles from Jerusalem. When their brother Lazarus died, deeply bereaved, the two sisters called Jesus in an act of great faith to come and save him. As the master arrived from a long distance, he found that Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days, and the two sisters were grief-stricken. When he gave the order to have the stone moved away from the door of the tomb, Martha replied, Lord, by now he will smell. This is the fourth day. Jesus did not heed her. He raised his eyes to heaven and prayed, Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer, so that they may believe it was you who sent me. He then ordered Lazarus to come out of the tomb. Lazarus awoke from the dead and came out with his feet and hands still wrapped in the burial linen. This event moved many to conversion. It also caused scandal most of all in Jerusalem, among the priests and the high priest of the temple. Why all this? Because the men of the temple feared the continual success, fame, and following which Jesus had gained among the people. By an act like this, the master had placed himself in the midst of a great debate of that time between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Pharisees, numerous members of a religious sect and important party in the Sanhedrin of Jerusalem, rigidly observed the law with zeal and an exaggerated formalism. This was often the cause for Jesus to openly and publicly object to their teaching and behavior. They believed in the possibility of resurrection by God and that at the end of time this would be the destiny for all men. They had no political goals since they were primarily a religious party. The Sadducees, too, were a powerful party in the Sanhedrin. They had, however, precise political goals. Many priests in the Temple of Jerusalem were Sadducees. They were in opposition to the Pharisees, denying the existence of angels, spirits, resurrection of the dead, and the immortality of the soul. Caiaphas the high priest was a Sadducee. But according to the faith of Israel, the Lord has power over the kingdom of death. In the Old Testament, for example, the prayer of the prophet Elijah brings to life the son of the widow Sarepta. In the New Testament, Jesus is protagonist of several instances of bringing the dead back to life, like that of Lazarus. When the high priest Caiaphas was told of what had happened in Bethany, he became afraid of Jesus' power and said, you don't seem to have grasped the situation at all. You fail to see that it is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed. From that day, they were determined to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> 